Today, we'll be looking at my budget storage option from Gladiator and how to set it up properly so you can fit your bumper plates, dumbbells, kettlebells, other miscellaneous equipment that you have. Why would you even want to pick the Gladiator storage over a Rogue or Titan Fitness Mass storage? Well, it really comes down to the price. The smallest version for the Gladiator costs you around $249 and just when you increase in size, it's gonna cost you another $50 on top of that as you go up. For the Rogue Standard Mass Storage, it's gonna cost you $555, and it's the same exact design, except for it only has three shelves, where the Gladiator Rack has four shelving. Another problem with the Rogue Mass Storage is it only comes with a med ball and bumper plate storage option, where if you wanna add a kettlebell or dumbbell rack, you're gonna to have to add a fee on top of that, where the kettlebell is going to cost you $49 and the dumbbell is going to cost you around $76 on added cost per shelf that you add. Another option is a Titan Mass Storage, also known as the Budget of Fitness. It has a similar design to Rogue in having three shelves, but it also is cheaper, around $250 cheaper compared to Rogue. This is going to cost you $299.99. Again, this only includes a med ball and bumper plate storage. To get the added features of a dumbbell or kettlebell tray, this is going to cost you an additional $99.99. And this is the reason why I went with the Gladiator over these mass storage options. I understand that some of these mass storage options do have a 2x3 or a 3x3 post, which will allow you to attach some additional attachments to it, but I don't think it's worth it in the grand scheme of things when you do have a squat rack that you could attach your stuff to as well. There are some different sizes that you can pick from from the Gladiator storage rack. There actually is four of them and they have two different depths. The depth you can pick from is between 18 and 24 inches, but I personally prefer to go for the 18 inch depth because then it won't poke so far into the garage door, so it actually makes it easier to park your car in the garage. For the two different depths, they do have different lengths that you can pick from. For the 18 inch depth, you can pick from a 40 inch long or a 60 inch long. But for the 24, you can pick from a 770 inch long and a 90 inch long. But for that 90 inch long, you're gonna be looking at a height of 90 inches. For the other three options, you're gonna be looking at a 70 inch tall. But for me personally, I have the 18 by 48 inch long rack. I don't need all that extra length when it allows me just to have extra equipment in my garage. And it actually works just fine when I store all my weights and I can still squat up to 500 pounds with the weight that I have. A very nice feature with the Gladiator storage rack over some of the other options is it's very easy to set up and you don't need any additional tools to set it up. So you might need an additional person, but they're just gonna help stabilize it while you snap these brackets into place in the snap holes. In between the two brackets, there is gonna be a wire rack that is supported by an internal support. But there is an issue here that we're gonna address later on to help you prevent any kind of scraping on your dumbbells and or breaking that wire rack. For that wire rack, some of the other options might have multiple internal supports. So just look at that when you are buying that as well. Another key component of this Gladiator storage rack is where do you actually set these brackets so you're able to just roll your bumper plates off, grab those dumbbells with ease, and also easily grab those medicine balls. What we will be doing is numbering from the bottom going up all the way to the top being number 24 and the bottom being number one. The bottom shelf will be set at number two. This is gonna be at the top point of that bracket. The next bracket will be set at number 12. And then your third bracket is gonna be set at number 18 and the top bracket is gonna be at the very top being number 24. A very big problem with this rack is we need to address the wire racking because if you set something inside the brackets, it's not gonna have total support. They are rated for 2,000 pounds per shelf, but that wire rack isn't really rated for that, so you are gonna damage your dumbbells or weights. To fix this issue of the wire rack, I ended up running some one by boards in length of 18 and 3 quarters inches. It's just some extra scrap boards that I had laying around that just added some extra support. I only did this on the bumper plate section because that is also the heaviest point. And then on top of that, I would put the three quarter inch plywood that was about 16 and a half inches. And I would put this three quarter inch plywood on every single shelf. So now when I put my dumbbells on top of that plywood, that weight would be distributed out to the brackets instead of just straight down to that wire racking. But if you are still worried about scuffing your dumbbells with that plywood, you could add just a quarter inch of 
rubber matting if you have some spares or if you have a three quarter inch stall mats and you have some scraps left, you could just throw that all the way across as well. There are some additional features to this Gladiator storage rack that I really enjoy having, such as this gear track on the side. I use this a lot just to hang my bands, my belts, or some jump ropes that I am gonna be using. I just have them hang off the side so it keeps it off the ground and I don't have to go searching for it every single time. But one thing that you should note with this as well is this will come in 24 inches. So if you buy the 18 inch depth rack, you're gonna need to cut this down to the correct size. Another thing that I added to this rack as well is the bumper plate storage down here. There are some different options that you can pick from. The one option I was using was Rogues, but they no longer carry this standard option. They actually have their 2.0 and 3.0, but they don't have the change plate nipple on the end. Don't laugh, nipple, 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 nipple. We could go for the Titan Fitness horizontal storage, but that's actually longer than the 48 inches of the rack. It's actually 52 inches, so it protrude outside. And that might be an option if you're buying the longer rack. For the smaller option, I wouldn't buy that one. The one I would buy would be True Grits horizontal storage. This is 42 inches, so it's a little bit shorter than the one I have, but it should hold enough weight looking at their picture and if you buy their weight plates it's actually thinner than the weight plates that i have not only is this good for storing stuff but it also can be used as a stretching post so you can attach some of your bands to the rack as well i also use this to attach my crossover symmetry bands in quotations so that i'm able to do active recovery or activation work but with those crossover symmetry bands, I would add a carabiner to it. So you just have one carabiner to move every single time. You might've just increased the size of your garage or added some extra room with this storage option. Make sure you check out this video so you make sure that you have these seven strength equipment for CrossFit.